The Pro Rack comes ready to go out of the box with everything you need to get started. It comes with two keys, two RFID wristbands, two RFID key fobs, two RFID decals with alcohol wipes to clean whatever surface you want to stick these on, an AC charger to plug in the bottom here, four mounting screws, a 732nd hex key for adjusting the plate inside the gun lock up and down, a T27 security torx bit for adjusting the bolts on the boot and the L bracket here, and a T25 security torx bit for adjusting the bolts for the front and rear gun supports. Optional equipment includes the RFID ring, a 12 volt card charger for vehicle installs, and a blackout cover for the RFID reader. And now we're gonna get this shotgun out of here and set this rack up for an AR. I'm just gonna use my RFID ring to swipe and open. Shotgun out and AR in. Okay, clearly that's way off. So what I'm going to do here is just put the gun right next to the rack. Kind of get a general view of where everything needs to adjust. And then I'm going to loosen all the bolts for the boot and the L bracket. It has two bolts on each side and a locking bolt on the inside. And this L bracket just has the two on top. So let's go ahead and loosen these. For those, I need to use the T27 security torx bit, which is the larger one. And I'm just loosening the bolts enough so the components are gonna slide freely, but I'm taking care not to back them out all the way. And I'm gonna slide that up, put my gun here next to it. That's actually about right. So let's see. Okay. That's about where I'm gonna want it to be. So I'm gonna take my screwdriver here and tighten just one of the bolts to hold the boot in place. I could also be using a ratchet with a quarter inch socket and the bits inside. I'm going to adjust this rear support up all the way. <clears throat> and I'm going to see where that front support needs to be. down as well okay let's see how that looks okay so that's pretty much all set one thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust this plate inside the gun lock up to take out a little bit of that slack so out one more time and the 732nd hex key that comes with the rack. Just gonna stick right in there. And the two bolts, I'll turn one at a time, couple turns each. You can go up, down, keeping it pretty level. You can also adjust it at an angle to match, you know, the shape of your forend. Let's see. very nice and snug. For some guns with larger diameter handguards like this one, you may need to completely remove the adjustable plate from the gun lock, and that way you can accommodate that handguard. guard. 
one thing that's very important to keep in mind is that if you adjust this plate inside the gun lock up so far that the gun's pushing against the lock gate, you may end up in a situation where you scan your RFID tag and the pin can't retract because of that pressure. If that happens to you, all you need to do is just give the gate a slight push and then it pulls right open. You could also just back off the plate a little bit so you have a little more play, but I'm gonna show you what that would be like and how you would overcome that. So right now I'm gonna scan my RFID ring and we'll hear that the pin doesn't retract. But as soon as I put slight pressure on the gate, the pin can retract and the gate opens. So again, you could just back off the plate to relieve some of that pressure. But if you do for some reason find yourself in that situation, just a slight push pull will open the lock right away. Next, we're gonna mount and adjust the pro rack. Make sure you choose a structurally sound mounting surface. You can use a stud finder to locate a stud and mount there. Once you've got your stud, check the general position you want the pro rack in and just mark the top hole. Once you've free drilled the hole, use your T25 security torx bit and a drill to zip the top mounting screw in. Doesn't have to be super tight. You actually want it a little bit loose right now. I didn't zip the top screw in all the way because right now I just want to mark these other mounting holes so I can then move the rack out of the way and pre-drill those as well. Once you've pre-drilled all four mounting holes, take your T25 Torx bit again and the included mounting screws and put all four mounting screws in. The Pro Rack has a total of four mounting points. One on the top, one on the bottom, and two in the aluminum extrusion. One in lower position right there, and one a little higher right there. Once I've tightened these adjustment bolts on the two sides, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the locking bolt all the way, locking the boot into position over that mounting screw. We'll get this nice and tight. With my gun locked in the rack, access to that internal locking bolt is blocked. That way the boot cannot be adjusted, which means that it can't be moved out of the way to gain access to that mounting point underneath the boot. As a final step, I'm gonna take my AC charger, plug it into the rack, and plug it into a wall outlet. <laughs> 